Howdy everybody, Lucy Goosey here, and welcome to the vlog. Now, there's a lot of stuff going down in our world today. It's absolutely saddening, from, from the deaths in Baton Rouge and in Minnesota and Fresno, to the cops being killed down in Dallas. Um, actually, I think there's three or four other places where they're being killed now. It, this is just sad, people. We, we we talk about a world and a country where we're together, where we need to erase racial divides. We need to come together as a country, as a people, as one people. This isn't the way to do it. It's, it's just not. I, I understand. I know that racism exists. I know. I see it. It's it's blatantly out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that racism isn't out there. I I know that there are some bad cops. I I do. I get it. But not every cop is a bad cop. Not every black person is a thug. Not every Asian person is good at math. This is sad, people. It's... It's disheartening to see, and I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm tired of seeing it. I, I hate seeing it on, on Facebook, on Twitter, on, on YouTube, MySpace. No one uses MySpace anymore, but you get my point. And so many of us are so quick to judge whoever we see in the video. We can, we can judge the cop, we can judge the, the person who was shot, and we do it before we know anything about the case. I, I've, I've done it myself, I know I have, and I'm, I, I try and be better at that. I try and look at everything from every angle, put myself in positions, what would I do, how would I handle something, and I try and look at the facts based on when they come. And every day, new things come out, new information comes out, new video comes out, and you, if you see it, you have to change your mind based on what you see. Or if you see something that completely confirms what you said, you stick to your guns and go stick true to what you're saying. That being said, everything needs to be gone through correctly. I, I get it. The, the shootings are, are absolutely tragic. All shootings. Not just the cops, not just the, the people in uh, Baton Rouge and in Minnesota. All shootings are terrible. They're terrible to see. I've, I've seen them personally and they're not fun. To, they're not a fun thing to witness. But if we see if we see something like this we as a people before anything else need to know the facts and need to let others look into the facts there's a reason that these are being investigated people it's so we as a people can get closure on it and get the facts before something like Dallas happens where, what was it, two, two gunmen went after white cops specifically. And to say that all white cops are racist is super disheartening. I'm, I'm tired, people. It's, it's gotten to the point where I, I, need, to, I need to stay off of Facebook because I see this stuff so much and it makes me scared for my job. Now if, if you don't know, if this is the first time you're seeing my channel, if this is the first video that you see, I work in EMS. I work on an ambulance. I am an EMT. So I would be going to calls like this. I'm, I'm lucky myself that in my, my city we don't have to face situations like this all the time. It's it's a rare occurrence. 
but it happens. And now that people are actively targeting cops, it's it's scary for me. Because for, for me, the police, they're family. Police, fire, EMS, military, we are all family. And I'm... I'm scared sometimes to go out and do my job because I don't know if someone's going to try and kill a cop and if I go help that cop that I'm going to get shot as well. We, we could be hurt. We don't know what we're coming up on. We don't know if this person's uh, got a gun inside his home and they're calling, they're calling for help simply to try and harm us, which has happened to me before, where they have called, said that they were having difficulty breathing, they were waiting at the door with a gun. So, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about these things. Other than wait until every fact comes out, every angle, every piece of audio comes out. I'll probably never know what a person in the black community goes through when they see a cop come up to them. I, I, I won't. I can't. To say that I could would be irresponsible of me. And I... My heart hurts for the families that are losing a, a loved one. Doesn't matter who it is. Any loss of life is terrible. To try and justify a loss of life with another loss of life, it's a terrible, terrible viewpoint. I know this video isn't very happy-go-lucky. <laughs> it's not me playing video games. But I feel that this needed to be said. This... <laughs> Even though I didn't say a lot. We need... We need to come together. Plain and simple. Black, white gray, brown, yellow, red, whatever, purple, green, orange, magenta. We need to come together as a people. And we see, we see examples of it where the, the line of uh, black men at one of their protests or rallies or meet and greets, whatever you want to call them, lined up in front of the police officers for protection and I guarantee you even those people have no idea how much that meant to the police they are so grateful they're they go do a job that is incredibly difficult knowing that hey I might get shot today and I know no other no other group no other person should go out and say hey I should I might get shot today it's terrible and I, I applaud the police officers around the world who do what they do. They do an incredibly thankless job for little money. Not because they want to go shoot someone, not because they want to make millions of dollars, but because they want to legitly protect people. They want to help people. It's at the core of what they do. It's, it's at the core of what we as uh, police EMS fire do. We want to help. Alright everybody, we're going to call the video here for today. Be good to one another. <laughs> Be safe. Hug a family member today. Alright everybody, I will see you in the next video.